the way, Melissa, the Super Bowl, and that usually means a lot of snacks, and that then leads to a lot of heartburn. What does that have to do with all this and what's going on at the Imagination Station? Well, Sarah Neff is here, and we're going to find out this morning. Sarah, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm feeling okay. <laughs> acid levels down a little bit, but you're going to explain a little bit about this. I am. So I thought we would talk about antacids and kind of how they affect your stomach and how they actually work. Okay, we're um, going to start up front here then. We are. You've got three beakers up here. What do we have going on? We do. We're going to start with our safety glasses. Um, of course. Inside our beakers, we've got this blue liquid, and that's actually a universal indicator. So we're going to change a couple of the colors um, to kind of create a pH scale that we have as a reference point. Okay. So the one in the middle, that's our neutral. All right. So this one, I'm going to add a little sodium hydroxide. And if you want to kind of swirl that uh, beaker around there, mix that up. That's going to be our base. And then on the far right, I'm going to add some hydrochloric acid. Ooh. Now, I'm using these because we know exactly... Um, which one's acid and right. which one's a base. Hydrochloric acid, obviously the bright pink one there. Right. So it's really bright, kind of the reddish orange color, and that's definitely gonna be an acid, and we've got our base as kind of this more purple color. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna move on to this, because this is pretty cool, right? It is. So this kind of signifies your stomach. Right now, it's empty. It has a neutral pH. It's got blue-green color, so maybe you haven't eaten anything yet today. And it's the stomach of a meteorologist. Yes. Because it's got a tornado in it. <laughs> Love it. Well, your stomach is moving. Muscles are kind of turning things right. around there, so it's, it's an accurate description. It is. Okay. And like I said, it's neutral right now, so let's see what happens if we add some acid to it. Ugh. Chicken wings. <laughs> okay. So now we have an acidic environment, and your stomach actually um, produces acid to help the enzymes in your stomach break down your food. Um, so it's acidic. We need to maybe bring that back to a neutral. So you don't want to have heartburn, right? No. So we're actually going to use some milk of magnesia. All right. So this is our um, antacid of choice today. Okay. And there are several different kinds of antacids you can get. You can get Tums or Rolaids or it really is a personal preference. I'm not a doctor so I don't want to say that one is better than the other. Now magnesia is that some sort of something uh, uh, item that's basic that's going to try to neutralize that? It is. So the main ingredient is magnesium hydroxide and that is what is going to neutralize our stomach acid here. Yes. Yeah, so you want to add about a tablespoon and a half. Okay. And it should be a little mark on I there for see you. It. All right, so go ahead and dump that into the stomach. And we should then neutralize this acid and make you feel a little better. So we can see that it changes, it gets a little cloudy or murky, and then we almost instantly see a color change happening. So it changed from yellow to green, and now we're getting back to that blue color. Really pretty, right? I feel so much better already. <laughs> and what's interesting is it looks kind of, um, kind of cloudy or murky, mm -hmm. and that's not because the milk of magnesia was white. It's actually because the um, magnesium hydroxide is not easily dissolvable in water. Okay. So it's a suspension now. So all those particles are okay. floating around in there. And again, if I add some more acid, we're going to change from red, and we're going to go through that color scale again. We see the oh, yellow to the green. fluctuating back and forth, and now it's yeah. going to go, oh, wow. Do you want to add some stomach acid? Yes. All which, right. Which one? This one right here. Okay. So like I said, the magnesium hydroxide particles are suspended there in the goes. solution. So it's kind of murky because right now we have a lot of it in reserve. We okay. only need a little bit mm -hmm. to neutralize that acid. So the more acid that we add to it, the more of that magnesium hydroxide will be used up. So what's interesting is that milk of magnesia is not necessarily a one-shot deal. So you, you can take it once and continue to eat. And it's kind of a myth that you get heartburn from spicy foods. Oh. But it's really just from overeating in general. If you eat too quickly, your stomach expands and it kind of pumps out all of this extra acid thinking that it has a lot of work to do. That is news to me. Now I know. But I assume that is it some truth that some of those spicy foods can yeah. do that though too? Right. Everyone's okay. different. So the pH of your stomach might be slightly right. different from someone else's. So you guys are always doing cool stuff though at the Imagination Station. What do you have going on through the uh, cold month of January? Come on in and warm up to what? Well, we still have Sesame Street Presents the Body for a few more weeks. So if you haven't been in yet, you should definitely come check that out. Okay. And as always, our Lucas County residents, 12 and under, always free on Saturdays with a paid adult admission. All right. We'll get Elmo some... And if you Milk take a magnesia too. quick look at our stomach here, you can see that it actually is becoming more transparent. It is. Because oh. we've used up almost all of that milk of magnesia. Okay. So it only has a certain 
kind of lifespan of it. Right, and it's actually right. slowing down the change. Very cool. Sarah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank when you. When we return on W2.